The IntelliJ platform plugin for Upsource lets you create and participate in code reviews from the IDE. When you check in code for a particular bug or feature, you have the option to create a new review in Upsource for this commit. You'll need to push the changes to the VCS server in order for Upsource to be able to create this review. You can assign a reviewer from the list of those with access to this project, and you can also add watches if you need to keep other people in the loop. When the code has been pushed to the server and the review has been created in Upsource, you'll be able to see the new review, including its commits and files. Review comments are visible in line with the code, either from this Upsource icon in the top right, or from the blue discussion icon in the gutter, so you can easily see which areas might need to be altered and make the right changes. But comments are not always simple changes that need to be implemented, often they're starting points for discussions. So you can also reply to a comment and participate in design discussions in line with the code. If you do want to commit changes that need to be added to an existing review, you can do this inside the IDE as well. Simply click Attach To and select the review you want to add this commit to. When the changes have been pushed, the new commit will be visible in the summary of that review. Having an easy workflow is key to rapid feedback via code reviews. The Upsource IDE plugin makes life easier for reviewers as well as those who want to have their code reviewed. You can filter the list of reviews a number of different ways. You can see the commits and files that make up a review, and look into each of the files to see the diffs line by line. Of course, you can easily add comments in line with the code. Ongoing discussions are updated live in the IDE, providing rapid feedback, regardless of whether the comments are added by another developer using their IDE, or whether someone used the Upsource application to add their comments. Either way, the inline comments show the full discussion. When you're satisfied with the outcome of a discussion, you can resolve it. This could be because you're happy with the answers, or because code changes have addressed the concerns. Finally, you can reject or accept the review as you see fit. Collaboration with colleagues doesn't have to be through formal code reviews. If you find a piece of code that you think deserves discussion, you can add comments on that code outside of a review. Compare the new comment with an existing one from a review and you can see the latest one is not attached to any review. This comment will be visible to any developer in Upsource or via the plugin. But if you want to draw attention to a particular piece of code and discuss it with someone else, you can create a link to the code and send it, via chat for example, to someone to look at. When that person follows the link, they'll see the code you're interested in, highlighted in Upsource. And of course they'll be able to see any comments as well. You can see all Upsource activity on the project via the newsfeed. For example, comments on code and ongoing discussions, whether they're attached to a review or not, changes to reviewers or watchers, and updates to reviews. You can use the feed to navigate to one of the reviews, or you can reply to or resolve discussions right here on the feed view. Thanks for watching this introduction to the Upsource IntelliJ Platform plugin.